Six foot 11 redshirt junior out of Nigeria, wearing number 24 in the dark jersey. There is Weatherspoon, Nick Weatherspoon at the point. Missed the first 10 games of the season. And we were looking back at some of the quote unquote bad losses that came Mississippi State's way. Remember, they were without Witherspoon. Sure. And then when he did get back, it, it, it took a little while, a few games yeah, for them to learn how to. Chris Tyree averaging 23 points a game in SEC play, second best score. That ball is thrown away by Blake Hinson. And at the other end. You talked about the versatility, the athleticism. KJ Buffin. They're going to have to contribute from the offensive end, like his early aggressiveness. Coming off a tough shooting game when they uh, won over at home over Missouri, 75-67. to 67, Just one of eight from the floor. But his head coach, Kermit Davis, said, look, it was just one of those nights. Nice play, strong to the basket. <laughs> Bully ball. <laughs> look at Reggie well, Perry. Chris, 2-3 zone again here by Ole Miss. Look at the first half, 2 through zone now by Old Miss, but Devontae Schuler now with 11. He's already matched his season average. Perry, as you mentioned, can make a three. That ball looked good when it left his hand. A nice strong rebound taken by Sam. The one you can't play defense on. Hunter, jump shot left and well short. The easy rebound taken once again by Abdul Adu. One of the best active rebounders, and I mean on the active list in all of the SEC. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mississippi State history. Schuler feeling it. Well defended. Might have gotten hit on the arm. Long rebound battle for Hunter for Old Miss. Had a handle on it. And Perry looking. Perry's available. Running the floor. Yeah, he's going to carve out Hunter. You know, when we were going to break, you said mouse in the house. <laughs> he made the card defensively in, in, in Texas A&M, too. So uh, they playing with very little depth, the Hogs are. Nice entry pass. Pump fake. Perry had to wait until the defenders flew by, and a foul is going to be called. Noon Eastern. And on the ESPN app, back with former Arkansas sharpshooter. Nice play around the rim. Pat Bradley on Paul Sunderland. In the transition situation, find their guy. Good early post ball. What body control. That was up through zone as quick as can be. A deflection out of bounds and now a clean steal. Mississippi State, 50% right now from the floor, and they are going through Perry. Don't you have to double team it? Yeah. He is. When the second Reggie Perry catches it uh, and continue to go to the hole. That was a nice pass, but dropped on the floor by C, and here comes Witherspoon. And he knows how, where to go with it. Crowd wanted goaltending. 6'11". Robert Woodard, 6'7". Uh, DJ Stewart is a 6'6". Six, six, six. That's great length. And all of them have spent a good deal of time in the weight room. This is a stout team as well. That ball turned over. A rare miscue by Mississippi State. Wow. Tough chance amongst all that length, but Buffin's got to finish. Not going to be able to draw one up any better than that. There's the double team, and it's a good double team, but going through it and then tipping the ball up and in. There's the double team, and it's a good double team, but going through it and then tipping the ball up and in. Mississippi State, two guys going for the loose ball. Got to get on the floor, though, Paul. Give me a floor burn. To the sideline 15 15 remaining perry measuring and has that rim just in and out adu is there working hard for the rebound mentioned he is fourth among back to the sideline 15 15 remaining perry measuring and has that rim just in and out adu is there working hard for the rebound mentioned he is fourth among all active sec players in total rebound stewart attacking and right to perry Mississippi State is just the aggressor now. And when you see for Mississippi State, Paul, is you look at the score, the time, the situation. We've got to have good decision making here. We've got to extend this lead. The good no call. Schuler was probably bumped a little bit, but good defensive legal guarding position by Reggie Perry. For Mississippi State here, take take their time, run good offense, take a good chunk of time off that shot clock. Because, again, if we haven't learned anything all year, in spite of the fact, again, it's an 18-point lead, <laughs> nothing is safe back-to-back. -back. I wouldn't say he's cooled off, but Mississippi State is looking at time and score, and they're not playing through him quite as much. 
high ball screen with Weatherspoon is in Perry is the way to go. Perry going down inside and has that ball deflected out of bounds. Largest lead so remaining. Mississippi State has done a great job of extending the lead, not only protecting the lead, but over the last few minutes, good decision making. They've taken as, good care. As I said that, they yes. almost kicked it into the second row. They've taken good care of the ball. They've defended well, particularly Brian Tyree, who got it going for a few minutes in the second half when the game theoretically was still it in It was doubt. all tough. Yeah, very tough. And they have really, really rebounded the ball well. They have out-rebounded Ole Miss 38-27. to Foul is going to be called and other... It's always anxious to see how the senior responds, specifically here. Coach are on senior night. He's got his family in from Estonia. A lot of emotion, I'm sure, raging through him right now. And Micaiah Henry commits the foul. Come out on top and finish the season strong. Back to the physicality. After that first matchup, Ben Howland said, playing South Carolina is like having a root canal. Well, this morning he amended that, saying it's more like having dental implants and holes drilled into your skull. That doesn't sound like much fun for That is though. not a good image. I'll tell you what, speaking of... Carolina is like having a root canal. Well, this morning he amended that, saying it's more like having dental implants and holes drilled into your skull. That doesn't sound like much fun for That is though. not a good image. I'll tell you what, speaking of... South Carolina's third in the SEC in scoring offense at just under 76 a night in league play. Weatherspoon with the run out, fouled by Coatsar. Great lead pass. Rebound for Perry. Weatherspoon got three on the baseline. Make it rebound number five. And now you can see how, why he piles up double tally. Tallied all the numbers in the SEC. The leader among Power Five conferences. Almost 800 more than the second most called. That's the ACC. The ACC has one more team. That's a conference play. What I thought interesting in the article, the article was very well done. It puts things in a lot of perspective. When Perry gets back in the game and goes right to work, there's the fact that he's just doing today. Still not sure. Uh, 14 years, I've, I've been pretty intimately involved in SEC basketball, and I think it's the most athletic league. I think it's the most physical league, and as a result, everything is at the basket, not necessarily the most. I think a two-touchdown lead at home against a team as talented as State is very safe. Absolutely not. Way too much time, but the way South Carolina is playing right now, they can continue this pace. I'm not sure that will even be relevant. They have been tremendous on both ends. A lot of contact on the DJ Stewart. Drop retains it. Good play right here. Is going to get Reggie Perry right to the basket. Perry dives in but can't finish. The cash it in. See if Mississippi State can go on a little run. Try to get this thing back under 10 at the four-minute timeout would be your goal if you're State. Very one of seven. And that'll be a big one. Finish it, but he, he got to that left hook at about seven feet. Wow. Great, great Red Zanito for the pass. Great cut. Ben Howell was in hand with, with both of these teams, right? I mean, if you're putting forth the effort on the defensive end, seems to play out. Great play directly out of the halftime locker room. You get Mike Coatsart, a wide open layup. Good job by Frank Martin and his South Carolina staff. They need to stay, allow South Carolina to get out in the open floor, a place they have not been as of late. Keyshawn Bryant gets to that pull up. Perry, that's four, right? Right side of the bubble. Off the mark, Perry back on the floor. Hey, speaking of Cincinnati, you know, for what category we would put it in? Dumb jokes for 500, yeah. Alex. Unusable information. Perry playing with four. Tried to pull up, and he lost it. Nothing free would be the best way to put it. They're not going to give you anything free, whether it be...
Artlist.io. Music licensing reimagined. Artlist.io Artlist IO Music Licensing Reimagined. Artlist IO Music Licensing Reimagined. Mid-range, underneath, potential circus shots, driving the ball. 18 of their 32 field goal attempts are from three. That shows you they are unable to get inside the arc with any type of quality look. And against the, as Ken Pomeroy says they are, the seventh tallest team in the country. So good luck. Barry with the nifty leader. Woodard, fighting, Smith, ties him up. One of the most underrated defenders on their team, coming off a 12-rebound performance in their first SEC road win at Vanderbilt. Does such a good job for them switching on the perimeter. Now the blue guy, Coach Martin, told us today, he sent him clips of Dennis Rodman with two points, 22 rebounds in a game, and he said, hey, man, why not you? Has been averaging 21 points per game his last six. And today, just half of that. Still with 12.25 to go. They're going to stay in this zone and see if Mississippi State That's the one it gets to. That was the right shot. In limited minutes. Yeah, they've got to find a way to get more paint touches either off the drive or off the pass. 24 three-point attempts. Way too many for a team that doesn't typically like to rely on that. Just 30% from beyond the arc of the season. So Mississippi State just had its 8 nothing run snapped. That was on the heels of Missouri's 7-0 run. 7 nothing Missouri run. Turnover. Perry taps it home. Defend the ball and rebound. 
Missouri is the whistle for just three fouls in half number two. The Bulldogs have taken one free throw. That's it. That is where Missouri has cut into the deficit at the free throw line. Trailed by seven at the break. The largest deficit was 11. It's now a two-point game. Perry had to adjust mid-air. Weatherspoon lets it fly. Big three. The hard part of making the open shot. And Perry had some separation to take a 15-footer. Instead, his third assist. It's been an all-around strong game for the sophomore from Thomasville, Georgia. Nearly stuck. Mississippi State inbounding. About three and a half seconds came. Unfortunately, though, you got a team in Alabama that can put up 90 to 100 on any given night. You have to guard and you have to do this, which is control the glass. To get to the basket, beautiful basketball by Herb Jones. Just simply sensational, a guy playing with one hand. And then here he is again. Turn, they're fatigued, and you're not getting the production over a game that you would be getting if they got a few more minutes of rest. Perry just inside the arc, knocks home tonight. Turnover by Stewart. Forbes has that one rejected, never had possession of the basketball. Perry working on Smith, running left, shooting right off the window. Got some speed in this league. Saban Lee, Javon McCormick, all three guards of Kentucky move extremely quick. Oh, big boy basketball. Here's Carter, Good off pass. the bowling R. Herbert Jones there, but then Perry clean. Not to, handed it off to Bolton, who was able to penetrate, suck in the defense, which allowed Kyra Lewis that three-point shot. Kyra Lewis now with 13 here in the first half. Perry thought he was fouled, misses badly. Woodard now hangs in the air. That won't go. How about that defensive? You're just joining us, John Petty has some kind of right arm injury, had to leave the game and has not returned. So we don't know the severity of that as of yet. Yeah, Mississippi State doesn't take many. They are two for seven. They went to a more of a big lineup with Galen Smith and Alex Reese on the interior now. Is a scoring guard. Herb Jones back the other way. Couldn't get it to go. Here's Stewart. He'll take it to the rim. His layup is good. Uh, but he has impressed me since day one and continues to get better after coming off of 18 points in the game against Ole Miss. He's playing well today. Perry bumped. He'll head to the free throw line. Bulldogs lead is just two. 14-15 to play. Here's Perry, squares up Davis. No good. It was the correct pass by Kyra Lewis, who was doing a nice job of splitting the trap of Mississippi State, who's trying to ice or down him on the ball screen. They're trying to keep him on one side of the floor. Here's Perry, left open for three. Got it. Nice stroke, big fella. Line. I mean, I don't know if I've seen a shooting exhibition like I did at the Pavilion versus Ole Miss. Now, Coach Kermit Davis wasn't there to calm his team down, but they just got hot, and they have multiple guys who can do it. The difference is John Petty's not in this game right now. Carter. Alley-oop to Perry. Perry, by the way, with another double-double, 14 and 10. That's his 15th double-double of the year, 24th of his career, and he is fouled. Just as you'll find in the SEC. Kentucky wins tonight as well, moving one game closer to a regular season championship. How good are they? They are playing at a very high level right now. And they're going to play for both championships. Reggie Perry fouled on the way to the bat. Shackelford, similar to Petty, is another guy who can create for himself and others. Shackelford with 14 and 8 rebounds. He leads the team in rebounds. 
in a timeout window with 3.15 to go. They leave Perry alone, and he hits it from the line. Excellent <laughs> effort from Perry. Alabama's still very much in this basketball game because of the way they shoot the three-point shot, but they have to get a stop here. Huge defensive play here for Alabama. It left him open, so Perry will try for three. That's a win for Alabama. Kyler Lewis is limping a little bit. Three ball no good there. Perry the rebound and a quick foul. Both ends of the floor. That will be severely challenged today. Reggie Perry, who is fit. Get the shot clock down to single digits again. We'll see that a lot here this afternoon, but Flag misses his first two shots. Here is Weatherspoon back the other way. Off the knee of Reggie Perry and out of bounds. Not a work by Nebo. Wow, that's just a tough matchup for Robert Woodard inside. Nebo just so physically gifted. Smash mouth hoops at its finest. Boy, and another. Nebo with four double doubles. That one is ripped out of the air by Adu. Here's Perry. He'll go with the left hand. That won't drop. Tapped around a few times and saved by Miller in the corner. <laughs> that tells you a story. Half the story. The other half is how well they defend you. Here's Reggie Perry. Boy, he was a focused side lack of cover down by Mississippi State. But credit Nebo for feeling, seeing the double coming. Eight for Miller now. The 7-0 run by the Aggies. Carter to Stewart. Perry. And did not want Reggie Perry to get a foul guarding Nebo. State could go two for one if they hurry. Perry. Perfect. Top of the key. Three. Pay for a costly turnover. That is Mitchell's first basket of the game. Perry, good post up. Buzz Williams, the old fumble it around, get it back and make a shot. Fake him out, right? <laughs> Stewart gets it to Perry. Boy, nice pass as William M. 12th in the conference, the average just five and a half threes per game. Madu taps it around a couple of times, still there. Jackson wins that battle. That particular point, <laughs> I, 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 I favor the I favor no goal thing as close as that was. What do you say at the end of the day? At the end of the day, I think it's goal thing. Okay, all right. I think enough of the ball was still on the rim. Seven point advantage now. Perry. He's bumped on the way up. See if Great decision by Miller. Oh, nice pass underneath by Reggie Perry as he hit him five out of 11. Molinar. Tapped around a couple of times. Perry gets it back to Stewart. Perry for another three. That went off the mark. A do there. Gets the offensive rebound and went to the possession arrow. And the Bulldogs had it. They'll take it. Was better. Carter, another catch and shoot. Got it again. Four. It really hasn't paid dividends in terms of turnovers, but it has certainly established the tempo of the game. Perry gets it to go. Chandler out there to try to create some havoc defensively. Doesn't have to be a three right now. Perry. Left it a little bit short. Flag the rebound. Reggie Perry. 
Tough day for Reggie. Amplified by the fact these two teams play each other again in 13 days. You and I kind of joked before the game, you came up with the notion it would be best for both programs and for the SEC <laughs> yes. if the road team won both of the matchups between these two. Here's Perry off the mark. Of the Not the same. Now he's got a high level of trust with his freshman. I think that's a travel by Perry. But are right at his season average. Bulldogs have made their last three field goals. Which also has the feel a little bit of a day two at the SEC tournament. And on the other end, Kusnard is first basket. But notice how measured he was in that drive. 27-22, Perry, short. And he forced. And a critical three and a half minutes here for both sides. Molinar, in and out. And Perry snatches the rebound. Lost the handle. Back after Auburn's lost back-to-back -back games in LSU. Losing last night at home to Kentucky. Hoop Junkie Jet will get our first look at Georgia next Wednesday. Lead is seven. Perry only two points so far. Oh. How did he do that? Oh. Well, he's taken his game to a different level tonight after the tip in, the game winner at Arkansas. Okoro's health is pulled hamstring critical for this conference and tournament seeding down the stretch. Six 20 plus games on the year. He's had three or more, three, seven different times. You better know where he is at the arc. Eight points tonight for A.J. Lawson. Bulldogs in search of their first points of the second half, and they get it. The big freshman allowing Carolina with a second chance opportunity. Lovec with six. Lead is four, under 12 to go. You can feel momentum starting to shift ever so slightly in this one. Perry's been held in check. This time a chance for three. Let's see if that. Alabama lost earlier tonight. That helps both of these teams' causes. And Bryant was off the mark, won the foul. Well, the individual decision-making of when to pass, when to shoot, not very good. Until then. Perry inside the stop. Lost to Bryant, and Bryant couldn't finish. Weatherspoon can. Timeout called by Frank Martin. Approaching eight to play. Perry, great position. Almost got. Kuznard, six points. Three assists. Both teams in the bonus the rest of the way. Perry left open. Goats are with the four fouls. Runners off the mark. Weatherspoon, a nice job to corral the basketball. And a smart move by Tyson Carter, the senior. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Now you can utilize clock. Seven on the shot clock, and Perry traveled. Coats are. And Perry the rebound. He was fouled. Uh, the Ole Miss zone, they want to work you down to the end of the shot clock. Right there, Nick Witherspoon, high degree of difficulty on that shot. Very tough shot. Into the shooting pull up jump shot by Keyshawn Fizel off the iron. First look at the six foot eight junior out of New Hebron, Mississippi. Again, right there, yeah. they are just trapping that, <laughs> not giving them any daylight. Boy, quick shot out of the corner that time missed by Hinson. 
I'm so <laughs> spectacular. It is the certainly the highest profile, I'd imagine, of all the events that happen at the Olympics. Friday night heights. Devontae Schuler getting into the lane, kicks outside to Henson. Still time on the shot clock. Nice trip by Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon tells Robert Woodard, get to the corner, I'll get it to you. Just catch and shoot. Woodard, number 12 in maroon, six foot seven, 235 pounds. Ben Howland telling us that that ball is off the back there and comes out to Crowley. But, uh, what have we seen now consecutively by Mississippi State? That's what Ole Miss wants. They're trying to force that deep shot. Well, and to your point, Mississippi State has been to the line nine times. They're, they can get, they've got physical players. That's a high percentage shot, too. The only one you can't play defense on. Hunter, jump shot left and well short. The easy rebound taken once again by... They had 24 in the first meeting, once again won by Old Miss. Final score, a little misleading with 13 minutes to go. Pretty close game. Old Miss on February 11th back in Oxford. Thanks to Brian Tyree, went on to win it. 83 to 58. Another crazy basketball game. <laughs> it absolutely was. Well, there's been about five... Bree and Tyree hadn't really been able to get going. And then that's been a big question mark for Kermit Davis all year. After Tyree, who can I consistently depend on to get us some points? That shot rejected down inside, boy. <laughs> well, that's another thing that's simple. wide open. Kyra Lewis, boy, he can go off at times if the game is played up-tempo and is wide open. That's where Alabama wants it. Great action even get a shot off yeah, in two seconds. Yeah, yeah it was and really good shot. action. Two school basketball game. They're, They're winning 12 to 4. Okay. In, up Oc in you, Oxford. You have that on your phone on the other right. side of today's game stats. <laughs> All right, we got it. And also, Greg and his son Tyson are the only Perry. Four for four from the free throw line from the big fella. Side with the turnaround, and he makes his second. He's got a nice jumper for his. McGuire retired in 1980 here in Carolina. He's going to the freshman on that outstanding run to South Carolina to the first ever final. Wow, Stewart with an aggressive line. No whistle on the drive. So wow. two things we've seen in the SEC this year. Yeah, we've seen a lot of whistles. And whether or not it impacts the next thing, I'm going to say we've seen a lot of comebacks. Like, when you are guarding in the post, you cannot help up. If you help up, there's no one who can rotate to your man, and that's how Abdul Adu gets a wide open layup. And I would have learned a lot of basketball if I would just listen to you this year. There's McCreary with his first and fourth. Which team can put together consecutive stops? Three minutes to play, limited possessions. Someone's got to get a defensive stop. Houston has a career high in assist tonight, looking for another. Coachell will get it to him. Career high 20. Playing the best basketball of his career, for sure, as you alluded to. Final weeks of his career. Brown from up top. Smith in the side of the window. Yeah, but even that, though, I mean, Pickett goes in there, you get the feel that all the 50-50 balls seem to be going Missouri's way. South Carolina, another rock fight, and then they close at home against their in-state rival in, in Ole Miss, where you can throw the records out because of uh, all that Ole Miss will be playing for because their season has not gone as well as expected. So if they could find a way to do that, Mississippi State is going to put themselves in a position, quite frankly, to be in play for the double bye and get the four seed, which I think puts them in a... Lane, you know, when he's on the perimeter, he typically is making the right decision. Very rare for big. So you can't just double every time. Eric Pat. we are lucky to see some good halftime shows at play. It was that guy who was balancing a wheelbarrow on his chin last week. The, the competition is, is tough right now to get a halftime act in the SEC. I mean, Red Pandas kind of set the tone and the standard for what people are willing to, to stay in their seats for. As opposed to mid range underneath potential circus shots. Kobe Brown, while stepping over Reggie Perry, secures the rebound. 
eight points for a potential SEC Player of the Year candidate in Reggie Perry in the first half. They were projected an eight seed coming into today. Maybe they heard us talking about how uh, you'd rather have a 10 seed than an eight or nine. It's all, <laughs> all strategic there. Kentucky with the three point at the time lead over Auburn. Tillman has done very well. This is a night in which Reggie Perry may not go for 20. He has averaged 20 a game in SEC play. Everyone in this Mississippi and the tempo of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Reese can't get it to go. Rebound to a do. We're getting an update on Petty. The information we're getting is just a right arm injury, doubtful to return. He is still back in that Alabama locker room. Reese. To the basket, goes with the left hand, no good. Perry the rebound, his fourth. Also takes out a veteran, a guy that's been there before, a leader on this basketball team. That's what I'm anxious to see in the second half. Who steps up for Alabama in that leadership role? And if you're just joining us, John Petty has some kind of right arm injury, had to leave the game and has not returned. Coach Ben Howland talked about he loved the way that Molinar had been playing of late. Iverson Molinar, 6'3", 195-pound freshman, continues to impress. Alabama has now missed 12 consecutive of looking for the big fella. Got to keep the big guys happy. You got to feed the big men. Reese, strong move. Offensive harder. 12-3 run for the Bulldogs since Alabama tied it up at 59. It's now their largest lead of the game. Reese got it. He's been struggling from behind. Rebound to Jackson. And AM will slow it down again. Just two points on the board for Mississippi State. As we close in on five minutes off the clock. Here's Miller. Defended by Reggie Perry and Miller with that offense executed in the half court. Here's Nebo blocked by Perry and to do down the stretch of the South Carolina game. He was marvelous. Well, he certainly has a fighter's mentality, does Nick Weatherspoon. Miller goes baseline and lays it in. Deuce offensively. They're a much different basketball team. Sometimes the game within the game is substitutions. Odoro in the game but because Ben Hallen did not want. They've already moved to the third team out. And a lot of times fans say, well, how can that happen? Well, you forget there are other teams around you on the bubble. And somebody that you wouldn't even think about loses a game or wins a game. And that affects you based on correct who they play. Here's Savion Flag. Shot clock down to six. Miller runs right into a double team you don't want to run into. A do and, and the throw over is there because the Mississippi State offense eliminates the weak side defender. Blocked by Perry. That'll start. Did not try to do too much with that. He would have liked to have catch, uh, had made the catch and have a flush, but it wasn't there. Just get the deuce. Woodard has nine. Miller splits a couple of Bulldog defenders. Last touch. How long Weatherspoon is going to get a breather here? But it won't be long. And a foul on Perry. Baseline in that area. J.J. Chandler tries to get to Nebo. He does. And Nebo with a flush. Fourth, both teams are in the middle of the ring now. Seven point Aggie lead. Wendell Mitchell. He'll get it to Nebo again. Cross court pass wiped away by Molinar and then a foul. And lack of confidence right now. That foul was on Perry. That was his third. And Savion flags. In Oxford. Here's Nebo. He traveled with it before. Weatherspoon was able to. From East Chicago, went to prep school for a year. 
has started to take this team over as a vocal leader. So Kushnard exit. Hannibal turns it over. It results in basically a coast-to-coast -coast layup. First touch for Bolden. And now Kotsar, that's in his range. His third last, nicely done. Creative underneath the outstretched arms of Kotsar. And Mississippi State's gone two for one. And the Bulldogs have a foul to give, which you do not see a lot of in college. Nine-point lead. That's the largest for MSU. Big break there. Gamecocks need a bucket here. Frank inside. Force that one up. Carter the rebound. Plenty. Stewart off the mark on the free throw. Coats are again. About the importance of this game. Both teams on the bubble. Joe Lenardi officially has South Carolina on the bubble for the first time in a long time. Gamecocks have won 8 of 10. Alabama lost earlier tonight. That helps both of these teams' causes. And Bryant was off the... In many situations here tonight. Coats are with the four fouls. Runners off the mark. Need some buckets in a hurry. Coats are. And Perry the rip. Poked away by Cheney. Mason Jones. Is that most of the second half against Tennessee? And really, the, maybe the worst performance of the year from Arkansas. That would be a trotting violation as you look at those Arkansas. Yeah, he's big, he's strong, he's active, got great hands. He's committed to going to the glass. See, Bailey can put some pressure on him right here with the ball in his hands. Make him defend. Jones defended by Stewart. Now they'll get it to Sills. Mason Jones with six on the shot clock. Taken away by Mississippi State by as many as 17. It's 50 because you were 39. down by 17, Dave. Excuse yeah. me. It's not where you want to have it when you're at home, but if you're down 17, you've done, you've done a good job getting back in it. Jones. Now Sills. Went back to Jones. And Mason tried to find a little bit of room. Gets it back. Now he has Reggie Perry on him. Step back. Got it. Wait, Mason Jones, does he want to tie his shoe in the middle of the possession? Screen from Sills, Mason Jones. It's because I knew they were going to get the switch, and Reggie Perry didn't switch. Oh, big collision. They want to put Reggie Perry in a ball screen here to get the switch. They're not switching now. Harris spins and threw it right to Carter. He's in the... And the 1-3-1 one, one zone has had the Mississippi State Bulldogs shook, and now they're on a 20-3 run since 3.58 left in the first half. Good toss into the paint by Reggie Perry. That's 10 turnovers now by the Bulldogs. Well, I'll tell you, Reggie Perry is out by the sign, the, the logo that says the pavilion versus inside on the block. Oh, this is going to Make a murder. Vanderbilt's offense exploded on Wednesday against LSU. 99 points. The big games for Max Evans and Saban Lee. Who has been here for years, pushing through the struggles in conference play. Here's the freshman, Dylan DeSue. This losing streak, they just felt like a 9-13 and 13 team. That was in search of its first win this year. Yeah, and it was a storyline for us, the media, but he's right. A lot of these guys weren't ever a part of that. But granted, it is... The key word there is relief. They can just move on, keep building their program. 
to Sue on the other side of the... Oh, even though Lamar Peters was a star, Quindary Weatherspoon, one of the best players we've seen in the SEC in a long time. But right now, the chemistry on this team and their ability to play inside out through Reggie Perry while still having good scores on the perimeter and being able to control the tempo, this is a Mississippi State team that can be very dangerous in March. The synergy is improving, and this team is one five out of seven. You get your suits as well, right? Uh, well, I know what to say now. As Jerry Stackhouse <laughs> walked off, he just said, three piece with the collar ball. <laughs> so I know I how to, to order the suit. Let me tell you, the I just need his bar, credit card to pay for it. Exactly. The collar bar was sharp. He had one on Wednesday for the win over LSU. Uh, but I like that. I, I need to start uh, buying my suit. Double team. Makes a beautiful pass out of it for a layup. That time he steps out and calmly knocks down the 18th. Letting the game come to him today. He was frustrated against Kentucky on Tuesday. Look at some of the best teams of the SEC. Your common denominator is, hey, they've all got a quality big man. They do. In, in today's game, it's all about the guards and everything else, and I'm all for that. But uh, lately it's been Kenny Blackshear at Florida. You got Reggie Perry here, he lost Riley at Auburn. Get a little bit more from everybody instead of just depending on one player. Any of these nuggets on Kennedy Carter or any others, just let me know if you need me to sub in for Courtney Lyle tomorrow, anything. <laughs> I mean, well, Courtney's with me tonight. got a good partner, yeah. Yeah. Look, we don't go too far without each other when it's basketball <laughs> season. That game tomorrow, remember, is at 1 Eastern time on ESPN. Mississippi. This is it. That Auburn finish was something else. Javon McCormick went unconscious for about a three-minute stretch. I agree. That was, that was the game of the year in the SEC in my mind. Smith joins us in a moment, and we are underway. Wildcat team coming off a loss to Auburn. Mississippi State has won five straight conference games, and they are playing as well as anyone in conference. They work it to E.J. Montgomery, first shot, no good. He was this guy can fly. Nick Weatherspoon, his first shot, too strong. And you didn't see a lot of up and down in that Duke-BC game. You'll see plenty of it in this one. Mississippi State, a terrific offensive rebounding team. The best in the SEC, second best in the country. And that's where Kentucky got punked by Auburn on Saturday night. But for everybody in college basketball, not just in this league, when he's playing the four position. Now, what keeps him at the four is Adu staying out of foul trouble with the five. Montgomery barrels into and sends Perry to the ground. Nick Richards for the offensive rebound. Now he drives the lane. And the jump hook short. The ball, the slip is stuck. Reggie Perry has a shot clock inspired. Pretty good defense there by Nate Sestina. Sestina with an early post up. A step away. Mississippi State hanging around. Stewart with seven. Montgomery takes Perry the hole in a pretty move by EJ. When you wake up at 5 a.m., yep. what are you thinking about? I'm, I'm thinking about the, the things that we should have done differently in the broadcast and the re replays <laughs> that we missed and the next film session. And... <laughs> No, just to, to, how can I get more more talk time in between you and Marty? There's a lot going on there. 5 a.m. There you go. That's Look what they want to see yeah. from Egypt. Good job by Nick Richards in, in drop coverage on the ball screen action. Then recovered to the front of the rim to clean up the miss. I think loose ball seems tonight to be finding the hands of E.J. Montgomery. See with three on the shot clock. Richards will fire. Straight in. And the best in the league on the offensive glass. But Perry just continues to force it up. He was double teamed again by Montgomery and Sestina. Not been the best of nights for Reggie Perry with 17 NBA teams in the building. He has got a foul and he makes the basket. Gifts this year on that jet are fabulous, by the way. Kombucha. Of course. Lulu, Lulu lemon slacks for everyone. Everybody wants. Kombucha. Sestina. Three no good. Wettis threw it up. Sestina follows. Oh. Haven't had one, have they? 
Weatherspoon was on the bench for a bunch of it. He's now back in the game. Next foul for him, he's out of the game. Same with Adu. Set a screen. Hagan steps through it. Richards foul line extended and he knocks it down. Great body control. Lovely touch around the rim. Six points for Reggie Perry. Fulkerson yet to get going for the balls. Goes that little fade away. Not happening just yet. Vescovi has the long rebound, heads out to him, and he knows what to do with it. One point game. Jalen Johnson kicks it out this time. Good ball movement by Volunteers. It looked like that and just barely left his feet. Thine kept that right foot down. Officials apparently agreed. Plopsic. Let, let him play on and he sticks it in. Gets the roll. Now the refs did not make volunteers in communication wide open. I think Weatherspoon really the key. In that Florida game, Mississippi State was plus 21 with him on the floor. Here's Vescovi stepping out. Oh, no. Probably the first foul on Carter. Definitely a much different Mississippi State team than what we saw in the first half. Won their last four SEC games. Today would be five in a row. Vescovi again wants Fulkerson. Fulkerson calling for it. Got a tough matchup against Perry. Able to alter the shot. So Stewart's got 12 points. He's into double digits. Fulkerson. Getting their rolls. It's a talented group. Carter, shot clock winding down. Abdu did not turn around that time. Ball was right behind him, and now Vescovi. Numbers advantage for Tennessee. They can't take advantage. Plopsic. He's been tough to handle today. And we inch before the game. Ben Howard, of course, was at UCLA. He was buddies with Brian Shaw, and he often went down to watch the Lakers practice. He got a chance to see Kobe. To your point about your second act in life, he attacks basketball, he attacks practice, and Kobe Bryant was in the middle of attacking the second chapter of his life. And the helicopter crash. He has such great work ethic, such pride that the players play. He went a real strong right there in that possession. Did a really excellent job there. Good first step. But Perry is a special talent. Iris and Molinar, number five. You see him guarding Quez Glover. Very good shooter. That shot goes up. Perry Black is in right about it. He knows players, Ben. I mean, he's coached a few in his time. A guy by the name of Kevin Love. He's another guy by the name of Westbrook. He could play. Not bad. Kyle Anderson, Aflalo. I mean, it goes on and on. Darren Collison, Larry the second. Jordan Fama, Holiday. I mean, he is coaching. Four. Four in a row. Four. Hope before only goes down in baseball. <laughs> the Black Shear a little one one off. George, no doubt about it. That's well said, but they got to do it. Both these teams, I think they got to buy it a little bit more defensively. I know Mike was not pleased with their defense the other night. I mean, Lifty has given up. He's got 10. Remember, we said that the bench had no points in the first half. All of a sudden, the bench has exploded. 10 for Carter alone. He's one of the premier six men in the conference. Blackshear, no good. Contested rebound. It goes to the Gators. They need him. Have you been there, Crow? Been in the fog. I figure if, if that's uh, Wrigley Field and in a rough arena, maybe Fenway Park. And horrible call. Lon Kruger's a pretty calm man, but he was even a little bit upset with that one. Gives him a fresh shot clock back to 20. Manic against Waters. Nice find to Harmon for three. Big shot from the freshman. Not have a timeout. Reeves, nice pump fake. Couldn't get the roll. Keeps it alive. And now they'll pull it out. 20 on the shot clock. That's the new rule, so it helps Mississippi State in a situation like this. to shoot. Reeves. Fader. Too strong. Rebound. Bulldogs. A chance so far, but that's a good start for him. 
talking to Ben Howland this morning about what has been the difference. He said, really, Nick has settled our team down. We're playing at a pace we need to play at. When they lost in this building against Auburn, they got sped up a little bit, and he worried about that Arkansas could come in and do the same thing. Isaiah Joe just dribbled it off his leg. Averaged about six points a game. Nice pass. Well, got to catch it. Hit the rim, I believe. Sills. Dragged that foot. Might have gotten away with a walk. Misfires on the three. And you've now riled up some folks. Yeah. And maybe a coach yelled out, hey, be ready to rebound the missed free throw. <laughs> Six points now for Perry. One point game. Love how uh, the Gamecocks are now playing. Got some confidence going. Kusnard. Kusnard has been, uh, Frank uh, Martin found the guy that can yeah. lead his team. And I had him getting that buzzer beating shot to knock off Kentucky career has more than nine that would be Austin Wiley and he's a senior for Auburn it's just a, it's a normal night right normal yep. game double double just a, another day at the office for Reggie Perry Witt on Perry nice up and under move boy is he talked about why they're switching because as you just mentioned he said we can't match up with them uh, without switching but they have size advantage in almost every position there you see the Georgia Bulldogs. It's not just Anthony Edwards. Ray Sean Hammonds now in his junior year at North Cross, Georgia. He is having a career year. It's Edwards spots up the three. Left it. Especially with a young team. Saw the resume, of course, of Ben Allen in last year, taking yet another program to the NCAA tournament. There were high expectations for this year's team. This will be a big game to get the confidence going for the Bulldogs. There's Ooh. a deep three hit by the key. It gives the defense time to settle in in front of him. Action up top by Georgia. Into the hands of Hammonds. Hammonds bumping bodies and lays it in. Smooth. Boy, communicate. You got to really be there on before the catch, especially if you're a smaller player. Georgia just a half step behind. Six points, three rebounds already for Perry. Kamara in traffic. Lays it in. Nifty finger roll. Uh, uh, the other thing is... Uh, you know, the, the quality of uh, players in this state and the pride that they play football with is something that's really exciting to me to be a part of. Steal by Wheeler for Georgia. And a shot missed for Reggie Perry. Rebound. I played against Lane. We beat him in the Coliseum, so we got to keep that up, you know. <laughs> you're, you're here for some basketball. You like the game of basketball? Incredible athleticism, mm -hmm. basketball. Uh, and I'll tell you... Uh, what a schedule they have you know they play uh they play so many games stuff like that and then uh creating space and begging it home mike you touched on it earlier that's your home my dude <laughs> that's where you live go home baby don't be too good for your home <laughs> and don't put the ball on the floor hammonds absorbs the contact fires the shot gets it back stripped defers Hammonds off the mark. Offensive rebound. Smallest guy on the floor scooped it up. Wheeler. Hammonds again. Missed everything. Especially as amidst your travels from the Golden Triangle Airport <laughs> over. I'm not sure that's good for the safety hazards. You're on your phone. Here's Mitchell Smith from the corner, and he met the baller. Uh, they're more versatile, I think, most especially offensively. They displayed that against the Gators on Saturday. It has not been effective early in this game. Here's Kobe Brown just checked into the game for the Tigers. Freshman with the drive, and he dished it to... Average a double-double. Preseason All-America is on every single Player of the Year watch list at his position and otherwise, and he has delivered for State this season. I think he's the most dominant front court player in the Southeastern Conference. He is uh, really good for State this season. I think he's the most dominant front court player in the Southeastern Conference. He is uh, really, really skilled offensively. He has gotten so much better in his American Thomasville High School in Georgia. I was a head coach at Ole Miss for 12 years, so I have been in this building quite often and in the recruiting circle. Oh, guy. <laughs> yes, yes, most gymnasts are. Yeah, big three right there. 
right in front of the Mississippi State bench, right in front of his proud papa. Greg Carter about four rows up. And then he flies in for the rebound. Coach, the rest of that game, he was pretty good as a player coach. Yeah, you know, you got to be careful. We're seeing this tonight. Missouri played their best game of the season. Comes on the road. A team that has not won one in SEC play. And they're getting their doors. UCLA. No, the coach was able to accomplish that. Got to the final four three times while in Westwood. Mississippi State doing a good job early here, not allowing LSU to turn the corner and attack the paint. Everything's coming out from over the top. Darius Days with the miss. Iverson Molinar is now checked into the lineup for Mississippi State. Watford on the drive. Good defense that time by the Bulldogs. Second chance opportunity. Force LSU to shoot contested jump shots. Williams, the kick out to Days. Another miss from deep. Devontae Smart's one of the anomalies in sports. He shoots 36% from three on the road and only 23% at home. It's a 10-0 run right now for Mississippi State. Watford walked over in their last six possessions. Really well. And then it quickly took a turn for the worse after he was diagnosed with a staph infection. As a result of that, he spent 91 days in the hospital. He was in his story on Twitter back in the summer, and just you, you couldn't believe all the turns. Forbes left open again, top of the key, and this time he buries it. Weatherspoon. Carter. That's a bad miss. That's a great find by Weatherspoon. Crossover from Petty. Rainbow three rolls it in. I don't know that we've seen another quarterback like that in one season be that effective. Maybe ever. And so that's the challenge for Clemson. And look, I, nobody slowed down LSU really all year. Auburn did it kind of. I, I don't know that Clemson is. So they're just going to simply have to outscore LSU to have a chance. I was traveling on the road and was watching one of the ESPN broadcasts from that sky cam. Active. Reese inside. The offensive standpoint, he can pass, and of course, we know how well he can score. Auburn Tigers, the only SEC team this year to use the same five starters in every game, and that's who we're looking at right now. Purifoy pulls the trigger on a quick three. And Flapamore, an outstanding student in the Warwick, Georgia, now in his senior year. Skip pass, now back up top. Purifoy, long range three, a little bit out of his range, perhaps. Tapped around, Auburn gets another element that Nick Weatherspoon gives. We saw him feed Reggie Perry in the paint. We saw him take it himself, and he can also defend baseline to baseline. Mismatch right here with Dowdy. He wants to get that step back. Great defense by Reggie Perry. Come on, huh? That's a big fella. Getting out there on the perimeter. State grabs the lead right back. Inside, Wiley goes to work. And that'll be a goal 10. Woodard. Lynn Wiley has been healthy all season long. That's made a world of difference for the senior. It has. It gives him such a fantastic option from the offensive end, defending on the defensive end. Strong take by Okoru. And you can see AP top 25, and that, that will change, and it has changed. You look at Kentucky, has beat two number one teams. They beat two number ones. Michigan State being the other, yes. Yeah, lost, and lost as a number one. By the way, the last 13 points for Mississippi State have come from the free throw line. McCormick with a silencer. From Denver.